Hey, this is Dorian Day, and welcome to Sermon Depth number seven. Today, we're going to go over wavetable morphing. So, if you come in here and click the pencil inside of Oscillator A, you'll see this uh, wavetable editor um, appears an additive synthesizer. Uh, right here, you can draw on the uh, waveform, and then down here is sort of like a timeline for different wavetables. So if I click right here, I can add another one, and using the formula section, I can change it. So let's just change this to a sign really quick. And now we just have a sign and a saw in our uh, timeline. And we can come over here to our wave table position knob and switch between, between them like that. And, um, and then we can also morph between them right here in the morph menu. And basically that superimposes different shapes in between them. So there's a smooth transition. And each mode does something different. So this mode, according to the manual, they're crossfaded, um, crossfading neighbor tables together. This is recommended by default in what traditional wave table synths do. But we can also try and do spectral. Spectral. So the phase and spectral content is resynthesized, similar to how an additive synthesizer works. You can see instead of sort of just moving in between, the curves change and bend into different shapes. Go back. Try this one for reference. Then if we go to zero fundamental phase, the manual says same as the spectral, but we zero out the fundamental phase so that the lowest frequency will not shift or rotate between tables. And the way you can see that in action, if I reset, First of all, look at this sine wave right now. I click up here. So you, okay, you see that phase bin, how high that green square is versus that. All right, so if we click zero fundamental phase, and then I refresh, you'll see that the phase disappears and that the sine wave shifted 180 degrees in phase. Once again, watch the sign flip as its uh, fundamental phase is shifted 100 degrees out of phase. And that's just basically trying to protect the um, both the pitch and the strength of the fundamental pitch as you're moving through the wavetable. Um, I think it's especially so you don't see dips in bass and other odd things going on. This one, on the other hand, this morph mode uh, zeroes all phases. So you can see only uh, the sign or the saw wave shifted because it's the only one that had any phase information and that's all gone now. And then you can remove the morph tables like that. And finally, if we just take something like the basic wave shapes table, go in here, you can see that there were seven scenes. Go try and morph crossfade, and you can crossfade between several tables automatically. <laughs> So there you go. That's uh, how the wavetable morph functions work.